Coffee, K-O-F-Y, Stereo TV 20, San Francisco. Joey Razor and the Blue Blades. And uh, this is a CD out, uh, which is Joint B Jump, and uh, it is really good. I'm going to go talk to Joey. Joey Razor and the Blue Blades. And... Uh, Joint B Jump is their CD. They are great. They're going to be back. We're going to get to the movie right now. And if you were to do sushi, where would you go? My place in the UK restaurant. <laughs> you got it. Okay. <laughs> Which is on Solano in Berkeley, right? Berkeley. Hey, did you guys like the sushi? Absolutely. I didn't eat it. You didn't? I would touch it. It's raw fish if somebody paid me. Oh, we have to go talk about that because raw fish is great. Did you know, hey, uh, Sean, Sean, did you know who Jack Lord was? Of course I knew Jack Lord was. Did you know he died last weekend? No, that I didn't know. We'll talk about that. We have some memorabilia from it. We're right now back to Southern, Southern Comfort Southern. with Keith Carradine. And Howard. Yeah. Howard. Coffee, K-O-F-Y, Stereo TV 20, San Francisco. <laughs> We're going to get back to Southern Comfort now, Keith Carradine, Powers Blues. Wow. Crazy crowd today. I know that. They're, they're, they're the Rocky, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Hey, that passed by. In that. Berkeley and the one in San Jose. And then we have, uh, it's a Jack Lord Man Club or something. Jack Lord died. He died this weekend? Yes, we're from the Kamehameha Club of San Francisco. We wanted to uh, honor you with one of these Aloha shirts. We've also got a relic. Yeah. An actual relic from Jack Lord you might be interested in. Can we get a close-up of that? Hold it this down like that. Shirt. This is a fragment of the first shirt Jack Lord ever wore yeah. on television, the first Aloha shirt. And we managed to get a portion of it in auction. Yeah. In 1972, there was a fire in the uh, warehouse that housed this, so it's only a partial, but it is actual, actual Lord. I have one Jack thing Lord. to say about all of this. Book him, Dano. Book Back to Southern Kelvin. Okay, who's Larry Hagman's mother? Excuse me? Larry Hagman's mother. Uh, Helen Hayes. No, Mary Martin. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, quickly, James, Jack Lord. James MacArthur. What did Jack, what did Jack Lord do before? Be, uh, before he was on the uh, Hawaii Hawaiian Bible. Oriented show, he was in 12 O'Clock High, and he was also Stony Burke Rodeo Cowboy. So he's had a long, illustrious career. Since well, 1922 till this weekend, We've admired the man, and now we want to celebrate his passing. Hey, he and Herb Cain, you know. That's right. They're both walking around. We're hoping that the goddess Pele will open up the heavens and let Jack Lord in. I think they're drinking Southern Comfort. Keith Carradine, Powers Booth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mahalo. Okay. <laughs> Coffee, K-O-F-Y, Stereo TV 20, San Francisco. Southern Comfort, Keith Carradine, Powers Booth. We gotta move on fast so we can sit here some more jewelry and racing with blue lights and the sleazy of Bill Barn Grill from Coffee Stereo TV 20. My kids. Coffee, K-O-F-Y, Stereo TV 20, San Francisco. Oh, I okay. No, right now we've got it. We're going to have a, a Joy Razor and the Blue Blades. Are we ready for that? And these weird people are running around here from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, both in San Jose, Berkeley. Okay, you got your swizzle stick. I got I to gotta show you this. I'm, I'm going to read this right now. Okay, it says, swizzle stick used by Jack Lord on the LAX Honolulu flight. After signing the contract for the first season of Hawaii Five-O, authenticated by producer Leonard Freeman, how do we know that's the real swizzle stick? Because he paid four hundred and fifty dollars an option for us. Boy, did I pull one over on you! That was me on the trip to Honolulu. Let's get our hands together right now. Joy Razor and the Blue Blades. Come on, everybody! Joy 
Razor and the Blue Blades, and their CD is uh, called Joint Me Jump, and uh, it's uh, it's really great. Okay, this is your first time with the CCR, so you like it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want to come down and be part of this, you can call 418-648-8820 and be part of the CCR. As a matter of fact, we recently won this award from San Francisco Weekly Magazine, which says, the best way to get on TV and get drunk for free. Okay, and that's from San Francisco Weekly. Gary. Hello. I was going to ask, oh, remember that, the, the, the uh, jet that we flew to uh, 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 where? Yeah, New York? And we did the trip to, yeah. I've got, next week I'm going to have video of it right now. It's down in San Jose at Corporate Air Technology, up on Jack's. Ev, there's not all the better, better than a Chevy on Jack. Huh? Huh? Better than a Chevy on Jack. Huh? It's scary. St. <laughs> Jack Ben Bazaar. Our next movie tonight is Hey, guess what? They told me we're almost out of time. Do you remember the Hi Kids commercial? I do. Okay. Hi Kids, we don't have any time left on Sunday Night with Jim Gabbard, St. Jack with Ben Gazar as we continue on Sunday Night with James Gabbard. John! John, you were, you've been at the other end of the bar tonight. It looks I like can't keep up, Jim. <laughs> Gary's been down here bull, bull, all night long. Bullshitting. Bullshitting all night long. <laughs> Leaving me down there to hand out beers That's because Philip was here. So he Technically, to... what's happened here is the bar back has taken over, and I have become the bar back tonight. Well, the bar back has looked like you've been very busy. You're doing yeah, thing. yeah. You know, you ought to see. Yeah. St. Jack. Time is of the essence, so let's get back to St. Jack so we can hear a little bit of Joey raising the Blue Blades at the end of the movie tonight from Sunday Night with James Gabbard. Uh, 